Hey everybody, a sign way of special days. We are back after seven months of not having any footage, nothing at all. It's been a long time running, summer's been busy, got new vehicle, got all kinds of shit. Actually, here you go. There you go. The new work vehicle. Yup. They are 20 inch. Make no mistake, they were made, not bought. Eighty-seven thousand miles, and it's an O3. No rust, not even on the exhaust welds. That's the ridiculous about it. And it's already a mess. And this, this little guy. We are replacing these today. Hopefully, it's not too terrible. That's in sixteen. Little truck. Looks like we're going to have to sit here and do some work. It is Sunday. This is what we do for fun. I mean, hell, might as well call it a shitbox rescue. What we got to do is we got to get these split in half. Get all of this out of there, which shouldn't be too bad. Put it back together. Weld it. Call her goo. Well, let's get started. Oh man, look at this, folks. We found the specs. Oh, get in there, camera. Hmm. A lot of power. That is a whole bunch of torque you for spinning tires. Not a very high RPM, though. Shit, it's like the van on the turnpike. Yeah, close up look. Here we go. That's all gonna come out. We're gonna cut from here. I'm gonna go in the inseam. Come all the way back. We're gonna go right up to the cab rocker. That's where we gonna stop. It does have the press unders and the slotting. We're not gonna use those because that involves tearing the cab apart and like a week long job trying to put it all back together because we got other shit to do. I edit this video, for instance. Yeah, hopefully somebody gets something out of it. It's a work in progress. It's easier to just do it half-assed than it is to go into it no ass. Okay, we'll figure it out.
Oh man, look at this thing. Gooey. Alright, so you got most of it out. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. I'll get in there, I'll get some rust prevention going too, and get some of that other garbage knocked out of there, and we'll give her a nice spray so he doesn't have to deal with it later. Alright, time to get to grinding. So here we are. We got the car, or the rocker, more or less, taken out. Little bit of porosity. Yeah, she's kind of, she's kind of beat up, but not too bad. I haven't actually crawled under there to see what's going on, but probably wondering why the hell it looks so damn brown. It's converter paint. Uh, it's this stuff right here. I used this crap a while ago. And it seems to me that it's the best stuff I could use. Started welding on some stuff. Started rusting. I was making a thing for a local lawn care company. And grass got all over it. All over it all the time. It was actually hooked to the deck to catch grass. And the issue it had was it would rust the immediate moment that I even saw a morning dew. So it was kind of annoying. It was a prototype. They needed it before it was due time. And I put it on there, and when I went to go modify the thing so it would actually be, you know, somewhat close to at least 80% done, what ended up happening was it ended up needing to be sand or ground down. I tell you right now, that shit could not be ground off. It was like it was part of the metal. It was like it was the metal. It just was layer by layer by layer, and all I did was just kind of all over this thing. I didn't even get all that into it and what ended up happening was is I actually had to sit there and burn it off it stuck so well it's only four dollars a can too and the fact that I can't get the stuff off makes it perfect it really really does so if you get a chance to buy some that's what you want to buy is this stuff right here I don't know how they do it or why it does it the way it does it but I tell you what the rust is gone and I've sprayed it on some stuff I didn't sand, I didn't clean it off, I didn't wipe it with acetone, I didn't prep it. It was nothing. You pretty much just walk outside, hose it down with the stuff, and walk away and throw the can in the trash. Because you're not going to use it twice. It just You just don't have to spray it twice. So, side note. Alright, so now that the rocker's out, you know, step the second is to get it to fit in there. You know, I had to split this one in half. That way I knew for a fact that I could get it in there without any issues, no alignment problems, I'm not going to sit here and take the fenders off. Yeah, it's a quick fix. I just want to get the holes out of it and put something back in there that doesn't have holes in it. Like this. This stuff is yikes. Anywho, if you look in there, you'll see that there's a bent piece of the flap right there. This little guy. Well, that's part of the old rocker. Well, I can't get that out unless I beat the hell out of it with an air hammer and it screws up the fender and it just gets all kinds of ugly so what I'm gonna do is you come over here and you got this kind of an end right there what you do is you trim it down to fit prime it with that goo schmoo and then throw it back in there make sure it's all sealed this is the part where you want to use that great stuff foam that everybody on shipbox nation says you should just fill her up well, those guys are right they're not trolls at all what you do is you fill it all up so it starts on fire the next time you start to work on it. And then it pushes it out. You know, it, it just it just gets rid of moisture too. It's like a, it's like an anti-sponge. Get yourself some, you know, fill it all up, create a bunch of cracks, have it shitting out the side of the the rocker. All these little holes right here is their expansion ports. It's kind of like uh, injection molding. You want it to go flowing through there. And then you take a razor blade and scrape up the other side. So you get all kinds of rust on the inside of the, the frame. But nobody can see that, so it's okay. Yeah. Just tips and tricks.
getting there. So all right, so we got the OE panels out. We got the new ones spotted in. Got some of that primer on there. Honestly, I think this side is done. Some of you are probably gonna sit there and say, well, why'd you take it right there and up there? Why'd you cut it in half? We're gonna make another seam. Why isn't it tacked on the bottom where the pinch weld is? Well, that's because he's gonna do the cab. Because the cab, well, I mean, he didn't turn the bilge pump on when it started to rain, so it kinda, eh. So what I did was I made it easy for him to do whatever he needs to do as far as body work goes. Yes, the door closes. Everything's nice and straight. It's all evened up along the edge. So now he knows he has the panel in there. Everything fits. It's all pounded back into place. Now he can do what he needs to do. Oh, now we gotta do the other side. Way time to move the the shop. Yeah.